Hey, Hispanic men of the world. This video I'm shooting just for you. Why? Because you guys are writing me in droves. Hundreds and hundreds, maybe even a thousand of you guys have written me and said, hey, I'm Hispanic. I hear this, I hear that online about coming to Ukraine and meeting and marrying a beautiful Ukrainian woman and you don't know what to believe. Why? Because the internet is loaded with misinformation, quite frankly, BS. I don't know why it's such a big secret. Okay, but I'm gonna debunk the myths and reveal to you the little known secret about how you can absolutely come to Ukraine and meet and marry a beautiful lady that will make you the best wife in the world, in my humble opinion. So, um, how do I know that? That's probably the biggest question you should ask me right now. Because we've taken to the streets and we've talked to hundreds of Ukrainian women and we've asked them, would they marry you? And so we'll tell you what they said. You can also go to What Women Want on YouTube. That's our channel where we actually ask them in Russian, not me, Ukrainian lady, asking Ukrainian lady. So you'll see what they say about you on there. And that's the best place to get yourself a good solid education because we answer the top 53 burning questions that you have about going on this journey. And you'll see what Ukrainian women say on this topic. And it's pretty entertaining too. It's all transcribed in English subtitles as well. So. The other thing is we've interviewed, you'll see on the main uh, Match Guarantee channel, we've interviewed 17 Ukrainian women on interviews that are as much as an hour, uh, one is actually two hours long, asking trusted good girls um, what they think on these topics. So would they marry you? And a bunch of other topics, their biggest fears. Because the biggest tip I can give you guys is spend as much time as you can getting yourself a good solid education about what the culture's like here, what are they looking for in a man, and decide if you're willing to man up for this journey. Because I'm, I'm not saying it's an easy journey, but I am saying it's a fulfilling journey and it's worth it at the end of the day because you're not going to find a better wife anywhere in the world according to my humble opinion. And I'm here, I'm not somewhere else, right? And I'm a happy man. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into um, what I'm calling the five major characteristics that Ukrainian women is looking for in their man that they would marry, call their husband to start a family with, to trust with their future. Um, and the thing is this, this is the honest truth, regardless of your race, color or religion, if you have these five characteristics or I'm going to say at least four, three or four of them depending on, uh, you can absolutely come here and be successful, regardless of what anybody tells you. Okay, as an ethnic minority, um, let's lump this into the category of strong man. Point one, strong man. If you're an ethnic minority, but you live in America or a first world country, EU somewhere, you know, some first world country, um, you need to know that that is hugely important for Ukraine women. Why? Let's go back to the beginning and look at why is a Ukraine woman looking at marrying a foreign man in the first place? Well, let's be straight up about it. She wants to improve her standard of living. She wants to have more opportunity for her and her children. That's a huge component. So you need to know if you live in a third world-ish country that's not Canada, America, UK, Australia, EU country, then well, it's going to make it really tough for you to win the heart of a Ukrainian woman or get her to say, yes, she'll marry you and she'll move to your third world-ish country. Okay, That's just the reality of it, guys. Don't argue with me and say, well, my country is you know, the biggest developing nation. Listen, perception is reality and she wants a better standard of living. So I'm just telling you straight up, guys. Doesn't mean you can't overcome this. We have clients and I've seen, you know, a lot of Ukrainian women move to, you know, your country, but it's uh, the minority. You might be talking about five in a hundred Ukrainian women. I just want to say one thing about that. Nothing wrong with Ukrainian women wanting to improve her standard of living, her lifestyle, is there? I mean, unless she's looking for that first and not love as first. Right? Then, of course, there's something wrong with that. But otherwise, it's normal. right? I would want to get out of Ukraine too if I was born here and there's no opportunity here. The corruption is terrible. The economy sucks. It's hard to make ends meet in Ukraine. Nothing wrong with that in my very overwhelming opinion. The second characteristic um, or feature or quality that's going to stack the deck for your success, if you will, is age difference. You need to be realistic about this huge issue, especially if you are an ethnic minority. Okay, age matters. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, 
Um, our, our zone of success, as we call it here at Match Guarantee, is age difference from uh, you know zero uh, to 15 years maximum. But I'm just gonna tell you straight up, guys, if you're an ethnic minority, you have, generally speaking, less of an age gap that you can work with. You're better off zero to five years. You can push that five-year envelope a bit, okay, but it depends on other characteristics. It depends how you look for your age. And that's a loaded gun, because you guys all think you look like Tom Cruise when he was 25. You know, you all, all tell me that you look younger, including myself, I think I look younger, but the thing, the thing is, realistically, age matters. The age gap, you need to keep as low as possible, okay? The third characteristic of a man that Ukrainian woman is looking for that's gonna help stack the deck for your success if you're gonna to endeavor uh, to come to Ukraine and look for your wife here is generosity. They're looking for a generous man, not a tightwad. Now, let me qualify what I mean by that. I don't mean you have to go shower her with opulent gifts or anything like this. No, 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 no. Not talking gold digger level. I'm talking just, you know, Ukraine woman really reads into how you spend money on her and the family. Are you going to take care of her and her child, let's say, or your children? Um, so she's just looking for signs of this. Little things, you know, mean a lot to Ukraine women. Okay, like I said, they read into it. So if the children, you need to, you know, go and buy some gifts here and there for the children. Just little gifts, $20 here and there. It shows that you care. It shows that when the chips are down, uh, you're going to look after them first, okay? So don't be a tightwad. Uh, that's really gonna kill your chances with Ukraine women. Why? Because Ukraine men, sorry to say guys, are tightwads. They don't spend money on the woman uh, other than maybe a meal here and there. Uh, and then after the meal, you know, most of them expect sex. So, you know, Sorry, but that's the way it is. Um, so they're looking for a better man, a superior man. They're looking at the man that um, you know will spend on them and show the care before she gives in to, let's say, sex, okay? She's looking for you to prove yourself before she gives herself fully to you. The fourth uh, characteristics or features, really, that's gonna stack the deck for your success coming here is if you're the type of man that feels you're able to love her child from another man, then, guys, this is a game changer for you. If you're willing to take on a single mom that already has a child and you're able and you tell her, and, and it's true that you're willing to love the child from another man, that is a game changer for you. It means that it opens uh, such a huge population base of single moms here, beautiful, very beautiful single moms here, um, why? Because they can't find a good man here. All the good ones are married off by the time they hit 30, okay? And Ukrainian men predominantly don't want to be responsible for another man's child, as they call it. So the reality is there's a lot of single moms in Ukraine. And so that's why. And it just means that your opportunity level increased dramatically. Okay, and the fifth characteristic of what the Ukraine woman is looking for in a man is let's debunk a myth at the same time, your looks, okay? Sorry, guys, but your age and your looks and your youthfulness matters. Do you take care of yourself? Are you in shape? Uh, or you got a beer belly and you're really overweight and you're not so active? That is a huge difference, okay? Makes a huge difference. Of course, you care what the Ukrainian woman looks like, she cares what you look like. Now, you notice it's position number five on these five characteristics or five factors that will help increase your level of success. You know what's number five? In my opinion, it's uh, much higher, like number two in the Western world. Number one is still money in the Western world, but number two is your looks. So Ukraine woman is not as vain. These other characteristics or features of the man are much more important than your looks. So you don't have to be, you know, Tom Cruise. Um, she's going to love you and take care of you and be the most amazing wife to you, even if you're a little overweight, you're a little older, Okay, as long as you're a strong man and the other, you have the other redeeming qualities that I spoke about in this video. Okay, so that's the good news. Now guys, I want to encourage you in this video. The reason I'm shooting this video is because I want to encourage you ethnic minority men that you can come here and be successful at meeting what my humble opinion 
These women are the best wives in the world. They are traditional values. They are beautiful. They dress elegantly. They are feminine. They are stand by their man women. Okay, through thick and thin, once she loves you, she's going to be there like your rock to help you, encourage you. Guys, that's what we, we want, right? I mean, chivalry is alive and well. They want you to buy them flowers, take them out for dinner, uh, open the car door. They want you to be the gentleman. Our women, do they want that anymore? <laughs> well, uh, so guys, I just encourage you that if you are ready to man up for this journey, and I kind of want to discourage you now with a few words that it's a journey. It's not come here and like this, find and win the heart of a Ukrainian woman. You're going to have to man up. You're going to have to work at it like any good uh, relationship, right? But these women, they want to be conquered. It's true. They want you to come here and win them and conquer them. They want to be conquered in one, which is again, a fair, uh, uh, very different than the Western woman. Okay. They want to emasculate us, don't they? So yeah, you've got to come here and conquer her, which means win her heart, which means be chivalrous, which means show that you have these five redeeming qualities. There's a few other ones, but these are the main five. Uh, and you can absolutely be successful. So that is my encouraging news here. And I will say on that point, guys, if you believe that you have all five of those, please reach out to us. We're here to help you. And we offer you a free test drive at Match Guarantee. So you don't have to pay us a dime until you feel comfortable with us and you meet some of our ladies. So here is the complimentary matchmaking package which we are willing to offer you. It's called our basic matchmaking package, $500 value. Go to our website at matchguarantee.com forward slash register or click on the link that says sign up in the top right of the website. And um, what that entitles you to do is first you get a one hour Skype video coaching call, which is where we go over uh, zone of success. Make sure that you're realistic and make sure that we feel in our head, heart and gut that you can be successful here. If we don't, we won't take you on as a client. Okay. Because it's not going to serve you, not going to serve us. But so that's the first thing. Then if you pass that test, and all looks good, go to our website, choose 10 ladies that catch your eye. You can send them each two emails after that, and then you can even talk to one on Skype video. So that gives you an opportunity to really get a feel for who is Match Guarantee as an agency. You'll see we really care about your success because you'll talk to either Vita or Daria or Jeff or one of our Western men coaches and you'll feel everybody on the team cares about your success and you'll get that. Otherwise, don't become a client. And so then at that point, if you decide you want to become a client, what you do is you put down a fully refundable deposit says right on the in invoice, 100% refundable. Then you fly to Kiev. You come into our office in Kiev. At this point, in good faith, we've set up your dates for you, at least five dates for you. And if you want to change your mind at that point, you're welcome to you give your money back right there and then. Um, so that's a bit of the client onboarding process. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Even if you never go further and never take us for a test drive, I want to encourage you guys. Um, some other tips I'll give you is there's no substitute to living in Ukraine or spending as much time as you can in the trenches dating. Okay, no substitute. So the longer you can come here to date women, um, the better your chances. Okay, this is a PS to the video guys, because it, it hit me that I should tell you this traumatic story to impress upon you this huge point. It's a caveat. It's really a warning. It's really a tip. It's really serious is what it is for all men, all foreign men, myself included, everyone coming here to meet and marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman. You need to uh, be very careful and cautious of this one point. And I'm going to back it up by a very sad story. The point, the serious point is you need to win over the in-laws. If you don't, it's going to be a problem. Okay. So there's prejudice against prejudice against all foreign men coming to Ukraine uh, here. You know, it's because, you know, the iron wall didn't come down until Perestroika in 1991. Before that, there was no foreign men of any race, color or religion in Russia, former USSR. Right. So they only have what is that? 28 years or whatever uh, of influence of foreign people here. Now, it's more and more every year. Um, so let's get back to it. You need to win over the in-laws. Very, very, very serious, very important. 
Let me tell you a very sad story. I bumped into a black guy in the supermarket in Silpo in Sumy, Ukraine. He's actually a gynecologist doctor in Sumy, Ukraine. And let me just kind of give you the reader digest version. He met and married the love of his wife, beautiful Ukrainian lady, he showed me a picture of his two kids they had together. And they were together for, um, I think he said about three years. Don't, don't quote me on the details because this happened a little over a year ago now. Um, and then anyway, they were living together. They had two children. Life is good. He's working at the hospital and he came home one day and she's gone. She pulled a Hank Snow and she's gone with the two children. And uh, that was four years ago, I believe it was, when he told me. And he has never seen his children since. Can you imagine how horrifying to be a father? You, you know, rip the part of your children and never see them again. So. I mean, talk about one of your worst nightmares, nightmares you could ever imagine. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen to you. You need to win over the in-laws. When I asked him, why do you think that happened? What happened? He said, the in-laws, her parents hated me. You know, so you need to do whatever it takes to win them over. And I mean, the best thing is you're going to show them that you're going to be a strong man, take care of her daughter, take care of the family. But sometimes that's not enough. So just be aware, be careful, very important. Uh, okay, so don't want to end on a bummer note, but hey, um, it's important that you guys know this. Told you the scary story so you don't forget this. Win over the in-laws. Listen, you guys, come to Ukraine. Whether you work with Match Guarantee or not, come to Ukraine, give it a go. If you're serious about this, I personally don't think there's another country in the world you're gonna find better women that make better wives than here in Ukraine. Well, that wraps it up, guys. I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. Uh, I hope you're encouraged to man up, come here, be a man of action, and make it happen for yourself. If this is a huge life goal for you to meet and marry one of the best and most beautiful women in the world, then I encourage you. Be a man of action, man up for the challenge. You can do it if you think you can, okay? So listen, um, don't forget to like this video, please, appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our highly educational videos in the future. Now, in terms of resource libraries, education is your best um, investment to consider uh, this journey, or if you're on this journey, you need to understand Slavic women, Ukrainian women, how they think, what's the difference in mindset, and hopefully a little bit about the language. You need to learn as much as you can. So, in the description below this video is, our, is a link to our YouTube channel, What Girls Want, where we've interviewed hundreds of Ukrainian women on the streets in Russian language, Ukrainian women interviewing Ukrainian women, asking them your top 53 or so burning questions. So, you definitely wanna go check that out. Also, our main channel, Tons of highly educational videos on Match Guarantee, main YouTube channel. And then we have another YouTube channel called Mail Order Bride Scams, where we put scam reviews, interviews with former scammers, um, reviews of bad PPL sites from victim men, and hopefully in the future, victim women, because women are victims of this ugly industry known as Mail Order Bride also. So um, I'll put a few other of our top videos in the description below that, so you can just go in the description and watch, I uh, highly recommend you watch those videos. Videos. And good luck, guys. Be a man of action. Come here, get your girl. She's waiting for you. I promise. The only question is if you're going to come and be the man and get her. Good luck. Bye bye. Paka.